Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the parts of the circulatory system. So the first thing we need to talk about is the fact that there's actually two different types of circulation. There's the circulation that goes from the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. So let's just write lungs here, just so we're aware. And this is called the pulmonary circulation. So pulmonary is referring to lungs. And the other type of circulation is going from the heart through to the body and then back to the heart again. So let's write body down here. And this is called the systemic circulation. So they're the two different types. Now you can see that I've drawn up some blood vessels in blue and some in red. This is highlighting the degree of oxygenation, how much oxygen is present. So obviously the blood supply that's going to the lungs is going to be deoxygenated. So less oxygen or no oxygen, predominantly less oxygen. Once the lungs deliver that oxygen to it, it's now red and oxygenated and that can then get delivered to the rest of the body. That oxygen releases out of the bloodstream, goes to the tissues, and then we've got deoxygenated blood again. So we go from the pulmonary circulation, systemic, pulmonary, systemic, pulmonary. Now a couple of things when we look at the circulatory system is that not all blood vessels are the same. So what I wanna begin with is we're gonna start here, coming out of the left-hand side of the heart, particularly the left ventricle, we've got this big blood vessel here called the aorta. Now the aorta is an artery. And it's the artery that comes out of the heart that then branches off into smaller arteries that then branch off even further to deliver oxygen and nutrients to the tissues of our body. So what you're going to find is that this aorta will have various branches. Now, once it branches and branches and branches and the blood vessels get smaller, you then turn into something called arterioles. So what we're going to find, for example, is that these are arterioles. Struggling to stay afloat during nursing school? Let me help you achieve our 96% pass rate by heading over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and signing up for free.